Despite the public defender's efforts, Will County Judge Dave Carlson today denied their request to let Joseph Chuba go free pending his trial, saying there are no conditions under which he could guarantee the public safety if he did. Standing next to his attorney inside a Will County courtroom today, Joseph Chuba pled not guilty to the charges against him. The 71-year-old Plainfield man is charged with first-degree murder, attempted murder, and hate crimes in connection with the brutal killing of six-year-old Wadi Al-Fayoum on October the 14th. We're in the process of conducting our own investigation. As you know, uh, our client is presumed to be not guilty of all charges and we are going to do the best we can to protect all his constitutional rights, make sure that he receives a fair trial by an impartial jury. Accused of fatally stabbing the little boy and critically injuring his mother, Hanan Shaheen, because of their Palestinian origin, Chuba, who rented rooms to the family inside his home, is said, according to prosecutors, to have told Shaheen three days before he attacked her that he was blaming her, not her personally, but her because she was Muslim, with what was happening in the Middle East. On their way out of court today, Al Fayyum's uncle said the family has been receiving death threats as a result of all the publicity given to the case. Oh, these days, if you speak your mind, you lose your job, you lose your money, you lose your life, you lose your family. And if you don't speak, you lose your life, you lose your money, you lose your job, you lose your family. That's a double standard in this country right now. Joseph Chuba will not be back in court until early next year. A pre-trial hearing has been set for January the 8th. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.